Darling, you need to make a video about pie. Oh, that's right. Get the large guy to make a video about pie. I mean, you know, it's not like that large guys eat lots of pies. I mean, it's a stereotype. Darling, don't be stupid. I talk about steam pie. I book too. Oh, okay. Let's go. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Keith and today's video is actually a travel vlog. My wife surprised me and booked a tour of the Mei Hong Song region, which is the province kind of west of the Chiang Mai province up in the north of Thailand. And it was awesome, it was beautiful, it was all in the mountains. But the problem was we flew straight up there, got on a tour bus and then I got really travel sick. I haven't got travel sick in years, but I was sitting at the back of the bus and there were lots of windy roads and it really did me in. Um, somebody gave me a travel sick pill and that just knocked me for six. So I may have forgotten to film an intro, hence the intro from my studio. But anyway, it was a really beautiful tour. Got the drone up a couple of times and got, I hopefully got some really good footage. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this. This is the, my travel vlog, The Road to Pi for laughs. Cue the vlog. first stop on the tour after a three hour journey in a minivan which is very windy and sort of turning around corners all the time. Um, we are at the Taipei Bridge which was originally a crossing was built here in the World uh, Second World War in 1941. Uh, the Japanese forced uh, had forced labor and to build a crossing here so that they could try and invade uh, Burma which at the time was a British colony. So uh, that's what this sort of crossing commemorates. Now, I don't think we're on the original bridge from what I read. I'm gonna have to Google it afterwards. So if I'm wrong, I'll sort of do a skit where I say I'm wrong, but I think I'm right that this is not the original bridge, but uh, it's uh, certainly what they used to cross this river so that they could uh, try and invade Burma, but uh, they weren't successful. Uh, stopped off at a picturesque coffee shop called Coffee in Love where you can take lots of pictures and buy lots of tourist gear so it must be popular but the view is pretty cool and she's with me. We've come to a temple and it's called Wat Hu as in, ooh, no TARDIS is around, but it appeals to me. Um, there's a Buddha here, which I can't actually show you, but apparently the Buddha's head fills with water and they've emptied it and it just comes back again. And they have no explanation as to why. This is what it says. Whether this actually is true or not, I don't know. I wonder if there's a monk that's just sneaking in and putting water in. But that is the legend of this place. And we've uh, just been for a quick pray and they, uh, they gave me this Buddha here that uh, they gave, um, but it's, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful place.
stopped off on the way to Mei Hong Song, which is our next uh, our destination for the evening where we're staying tonight. Um, the road's been really windy. We had an amazing viewpoint earlier this morning. I managed to get the drone up for a few minutes, which was awesome. There was somebody there already flying a spark, but it was quite windy and the spark was uh, flapping around quite a lot, whereas, whereas the Mavic 2 is obviously a bit more... Uh, capable of flying in the wind but I got a couple of uh, good shots but I didn't have time to put filters on it any time I just got it up got a couple of shots got it down again quickly so uh, the views around this area are incredible I never expected to see all of this so it's been quite cool nice surprise I've had to buy a sun hat so my wife bought me a typical Chiang Mai style or northern style hat but uh, yeah as you can see from hopefully the B-roll, the, the, the scenery around here is just incredible. We've, uh, we, we've we finally stopped. I'm feeling a bit travel sick because the road here is just lots of twists and turns up and down and sitting at the back of the bus is uh, yeah making me feel not the greatest. But where have we stopped here? Pamba. Pamba. Which I think means fish cave. Um, so we're going to go and look at some fish in the cave, apparently. We'll find out. <laughs> just make out that that is a runway if you look at the end of that runway now that is an airport I'd like to attempt a landing at on flight sim <laughs> not in real life just on flight sim <laughs> up in the mountains at Ban Rak Tai, which is kind of like a, a Chinese Yan. village. Yan. It's, it's, it's populated by the Hmong people again. Um, and it's kind of like a faux Chinese village, but it's, uh, it's not warm. <laughs> it's really cold. In fact, I've got, <laughs> I've never had this in Thailand before. Look, I'm talking, I've got smoke from here. It's really cold. It's about 12 at the moment. So um, it's gonna get up to 14 in a bit, but it's, just gone seven o'clock in the morning and there's fog on the the lake but by god is it cold um it's the last day of the tour today i still have no idea where we're going but uh this this place was awesome and it was really pretty last night with the sort of light reflection off the lake 
So I'm gonna try and get the drone up after breakfast. Fun, fun. managed to get the drone up and we're having a walk around this uh, sort of Chinese village. It uh, has a lot of tea as you probably saw from the um, the drone footage. I, I <laughs> only had about 20 minutes of drone up there but it was cool and there was also another drone up in the air so I had to be uh, quite careful but uh, it's, uh, it's an interesting walk around this village. stopped off a little way down from the village where we were last night and we're at this dam and it's rather beautiful but it it looks almost alpine there's there's fir trees and not the type of trees you expect in Thai jungle put it that way and it's really rather picturesque there's people out on sort of boats come rafts and my wife is very busy taking pictures everywhere I am just sort of sitting out on the dam and, and taking the view in. It's it's quite beautiful and it's still quite cold. Um, it was I, Last night it got down to 12 degrees and a lot of people, because I posted this on Facebook and a lot of people sort of said, oh, it's minus two here. It's like, I haven't been back to the UK in winter time for nearly three years. Um, I'm used to 35 degree weather. To get down to 12, it felt really cold last night. But uh, yeah, I'm enjoying the final day of the tour and this is really a beautiful area. My only regret is this is such a cool place to take some long exposure shots and I haven't got my ND filters for the Sony camera, but never mind, um, just taking in the view.
we come to the final stop on our trip and we're at a flower mountain so basically it's a, a load of flower fields on top of a, a mountain it's really quite beautiful and picturesque quite a lot of tour buses up here obviously it's a stop on the uh, trip but the view as you can see is incredible and I managed to get the drone up for half an hour um, so that's really awesome the drone is suffering a bit there's a few issues with it I think I need a new drone hopefully um, anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you did please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one but for now bye bye